This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electron configurations and the Aufbau principle. An electron configuration is a representation of the arrangement of electrons within an atom or ion. Here we can see the electron configuration for the noble gas helium, which is 1s2. The 1 refers to the main energy level or principal energy level. The s refers to the sublevel. This letter can either be an S, P, D, or F. And then we have the number written as a superscript, which tells us the number of electrons in that sublevel. So next we look at some more examples. The next example we look at is the electron configuration for carbon, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. From this, we can deduce that an atom of carbon has six electrons. There are two electrons in the 1s sublevel, 2 in the 2s sublevel, and 2 in the 2p sublevel. Note, we can also write the condensed or abbreviated electron configuration. This uses the symbol of a noble gas to represent the core electrons. Abbreviated electron configurations will be covered in more detail later in the video. Next, we have the electron configuration for sodium, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. This tells us that an atom of sodium has 11 electrons, with 2 electrons in the 1s sublevel, 2 in the 2s sublevel, 6 in the 2p sublevel, and 1 in the 3s sublevel. And the next example is the electron configuration for bromine, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. So next we look at condensed electron configurations in more detail. So condensed electron configurations, which are also known as abbreviated electron configurations, use the symbol of a noble gas to represent the core electrons. So using this notation, square brackets with the symbol HE represents the two electrons in the 1s sublevel. Square brackets with NE represent the core electrons in the 1s, 2s, and 2p sublevels. Square brackets with the symbol AR represent the core electrons up to the 3p sublevel, and square brackets with the symbol KR represent the core electrons up to the 4p sublevel. So as we saw earlier, the electron configuration for sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, and the condensed electron configuration is NE, 3s1. So the symbol NE in square brackets represents the core electrons in the 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6 sublevels. So next we'll move on to look at the Aufbau principle. The Aufbau principle is used to determine the electron configuration of an atom or ion, and it basically gives an order of filling an atom with electrons. According to the Aufbau principle, electrons fill lowest energy sublevels first. On the left, we can see the sublevels in order of their energy. With the lowest energy, we have the 1s sublevel. Next, we have the 2s sublevel, followed by the 2p sublevel. After that, we have the 3s sublevel and the 3p sublevel. Then we have the 4s sublevel, followed by the 3d sublevel. Note that the 4s sublevel is slightly lower in energy than the 3d sublevel and after the 3d sublevel, we have the 4p sublevel. On the right, we have the order of the filling of the sublevels. Because the 1s sublevel is the lowest energy, it fills first, followed by the 2s sublevel, and then the 2p sublevel. Then we have the 3s, followed by the 3p sublevel. Note that after the 3p sublevel, the 4s sublevel is filled, followed by the 3d sublevel, and then the 4p sublevel. In this video, I'll cover electron configurations up to the 4p sublevel. But as you can see, the order of filling continues in order of increasing energy. Before we start with the electron configurations, we'll look at the Pauli exclusion principle and Hund's rule. Starting with the Pauli exclusion principle, which states that an atomic orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons and they must have opposite spins. So here we can see a representation of an atomic orbital. The single-headed arrows represent electrons. So according to the Pauli exclusion principle, we can only put two arrows or electrons in the box, and they must have opposite spins. That is, one must be pointing up, 
and the other must be pointing down. Next is Hund's rule. This states that degenerate orbitals are filled singly with the same spin before being doubly occupied. The term degenerate orbitals means orbitals that have the same energy. So that's the three p orbitals in a p sublevel or the five d orbitals in a d sublevel. So in this example, we are putting three electrons in the two p sublevel. As you can see, we first need to fill each orbital with one electron with the same spin. And once each orbital has one electron, we can then doubly occupy each orbital. 